Okay, let's talk about the Axis camera's IOs. So here I have a camera with the wires connected. So basically here I'm using pin number two and number three to connect this LED. Let's take a look here in the camera's interface. As you can see, there's no button here to control the LED. Then I come here to settings and to the system tab and then IO ports. And here I can change the way the IO works. So here I have output one. I can change it either to input or output so I can change the, the way it works. And also here to open circuits or closer circuits, uh, any O or any C, and also toggle the live view control. So I toggle live view control here, as you can see, it's on now. Then now you have the button there on the main screen. So let me just come back, as you can see here, there's the button for the output one. Let me just show the camera here. When I turn on, you see the LED is on now. Okay, let me do it again so you can see it better. Off. And let me just change here the way it works. You can choose active, inactive, or you can also choose for pulse. Okay, pulse you can like just enable for some seconds. Let's say here, for example, I can change from zero to two seconds. And now I control the output uh, for two seconds. It's going to turn the LED. So I just click here and it says pulse for two seconds. Okay, let me change again so we can see better from two seconds, let's say five seconds. Okay, and now again, output one, I click here. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, five seconds, right? So well, it works pretty fine. One more time, just to make sure it's working. Let's change to 10 seconds. And now let me just click the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, about 10 seconds. Okay, it's working pretty fine. So pretty easy to use that way. You can either choose both or active inactive, and then you control the way it works. Okay, the output one here, you just click, you enable, it's on now, and then can click again and disable so it works like that right